video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and today I'm talking a bit less louder than usual uh, because it's early, people are still sleeping and so on, so on, so on. But today I bring you one of the most awaited videos, at least one of the most awaited and the most requested videos from my community, which is basically a GPU-sided codec comparison in between the AVC, Advanced Video Coding, AGVC, High Efficiency Video Coding and AV1, which is AOMI. Media video one. And like I said before, this is a GPU sided codec thing, so it's the H.264 versus H.265 versus AV1 on the GPU side. Now, before starting the side by side comparison, there are some things that you probably should know. Hardware sided AV1 encoding and decoding is a thing that can only be used by the RX 7000 series from AMD, RTX 4000 series from Nvidia, and Arc series from Intel. And different brands can actually have different optimizations on the same codec. That's one of the reasons why, for example, the NVENC codec was way better than the AMD codec back then, and it still is to some extent, uh, even though they were using the same codec, which was the H.264 or the AVC. So they were using the same codec, but NVIDIA was more efficient at it because it had uh, B frames, for example, something that AMD has now as well. Um, but overall, yeah, they are mostly the same, um, but the brands can tweak the codec to be more efficient or less efficient. Well, nobody will tweak the codec to be less efficient, but you know what I mean. You're teasing me, you naughty naughty. <laughs> Everyone can use the AV1 encoding though, but it would be software sided using your processor that will take a big performance hit on your gameplay, as even the fastest CPU nowadays struggle to encode AV1. So basically you can do AV1 CPU sided, but your performance will suffer. And talking about performance, the performance impact of recording or streaming with your GPU depends not only on your GPU, but also on the codec, on the video resolution and the video bitrate. But what is the video bitrate? Putting things to easy terms, it is the streaming quality, so the amount of data that is being used in the video. The higher the video bitrate, the higher the video quality and the bigger the video size. The video bitrate also tells the encoder how much it has to compress the video and the better the codec used, the higher quality the video will have at the same video bitrate. Because once again, the better codec will do a better job at compressing, retaining more information. And if you're thinking about resolution right now, well, resolution alone means nothing. You can have a 720p 20 Mbps video looking much better than a 1440p 5 Mbps one, because although you have way less pixels at 720p, the pixels have much more information, while at 1440p you have way more pixels, but you don't have enough information to fill them. And that means that you can pick a higher resolution, but if your video bitrate is actually low for that resolution and the codec is bad at compressing the information, well, you're still gonna have a bad image quality. And just to finish this part, remember that if you are using these settings for streaming, well, your streaming service may actually have some limitations in terms of codecs and video bit rates. For example, if you're using YouTube, a Twitch, or any other streaming service, or even Facebook, yeah. YouTube already allows you to use AV1 encoding, while for example Twitch only allows the use of H.264, which is the AVC codec. Meaning that even though your card supports a better codec, if your streaming service doesn't, well, then it wouldn't serve you much. And on top of that, every streaming service or even YouTube or on your recorded videos will recompress your videos. So the higher the video quality you upload or stream, the better the final image will look. Now to really end this boring part, well you can download the uncompressed files because like I told you before, YouTube algorithm, uh, not the algorithm, but YouTube compresses or recompresses the image, the image once again, so you can download the uncompressed video and the uncompressed files that are recorded uh, and compare them yourself on your computer, okay, with the link in the description. 
As for the side-by-side -side comparisons, remember you can pause them at any point of the video to compare the codecs, but I will do that for you as well, so yeah, let's watch. For the 1080p2 Mbps results, we can clearly see that AVC codec fails to retain a lot of data of the cars, with even the license plate of ours being barely visible. If you look at it, there are lots of pixels without any information, leading to a much worse overall quality with a pixelated image. AGVC and AV1 on the other hand look much better, with AV1 looking better in terms of car details, with a smoother look over the more pixelated one of AGVC, that can be seen even if you look closer to the car's details. With 1080p 5 Mbps, I picked a scene with more shadows and a dimmer ambience in order to bring out the quality difference in between the codecs. The AVC is very bad at retaining information in this particular scene, where our car's license plate is not even shown entirely and the cars in the front are severely blurred. A GVC is definitely a major upgrade over AVC in this scenario, as the retained image quality is much better, delivering much more detail at the same video bitrate. But AV1 takes it a step further, retaining much more quality, with our card now being smoother and with way more detail in the darker parts close to the license plate, with more defined lines and less blurriness. Even if you look at the buildings in the back, you can see that the rails from the windows are much more detailed when using AV1, showing how much better compression it produces in this specific scenario. At 10 Mbps, the AVC codec is still fairly inferior, as you can see that as soon as you look at our car's edges, to the cars in front of us, or even the arrow in the street. I mean, even looking at the letters saying Corvette in our car, you can clearly tell the difference, with those letters and the license plate being much more detailed with both AGVC and AV1. AV1 does look better overall with much better text clarity and a much less pixelated and smoother look. At 15 Mbps we got another tough scenario for the codex, because although the image doesn't have many shadows or dimmer places, it is a part where the cars are moving fast and a lot of data needs to be processed. Here we can see that the AVC is still the worst looking of the three, with less detail and a more pixelated look. But we can also see that AGVC isn't actually much better as well, with it retaining more details of our car and a little bit more in the background, but nothing astonishing. With AV1 delivering a bit better image quality in terms of background, with the yellow lines in the side of the road looking much better, for example, with the letters Corvette and the license plate being once again much more detailed with the AV1 codec.
The higher the resolution goes, the more Mbps you need to feed the higher number of pixels. And 1440p to Mbps is just the lowest it could get. And I pushed kind of a hard scenario here to see how things would go and damn, in this scenario, AGVC is even worse than the old AVC, having a somehow much more pixelated look, looking a bit sharper than AVC, but presenting a lot less information. And AV1 is obviously the clear winner here, with much more retained information that you can see as soon as you look at the pillar, the cables over the grills in the floor, or even the arrow in the back and the water pipes in the ceiling. Very good for such low bitrate. At 1440p 5 Mbps, AVC gets completely demolished, being a pixel fast compared to the other two codecs that retain much more information. Once again, AV1 is the one that delivers better image quality and you can see that primarily in the darker areas, where even the AGVC delivers a way more pixelated and blurred look than AV1, with the pillars in the top left corner being the perfect example. At 1440p 10 Mbps is a more acceptable video bitrate for quality purposes, and in this scene we don't have many darker areas, but it will do. Focusing firstly on the hand and the gun, we can see how much superior AV1 is, and even though AGVC does a decent job, AV1 is just much better, with more defined lines and much less pixels showing in the arm and the glove. And that translates to other areas as well, where AV1 is simply much better, retaining more detail of the original picture. And the final side-by-side -side comparison is at 1440p and 15 Mbps, which is more or less the sweet spot of the video bitrate for 1440p streaming, because if we're talking about decent quality for recording, well, I would advise you at least 40 Mbps. In here we have AVC doing ok, but still being quite inferior than the other two codecs, as it should be. It seems that here, even though AGVC presents a more pixelated look versus the AV1, it is the one that delivers the better text clarity now. And even the wall textures in the back look a bit better. Still, if we're talking about overall picture quality, AV1 still stands out, as although it oversmooths some areas, well, it still has lower amount of pixelated information and delivers the best lining clarity of the three. Although as you increase more and more the video bitrate, the differences in between the three codecs get smaller. But I do still believe AV1 is the way to go, even more as it is getting more and more supported as the time passes by. And well guys, that's basically it for today's video. As you saw, AVC versus AGVC versus AV1 encoders. And at least on the GPU side, on the AMD part, well, the AV1 is fairly superior, and in almost all scenarios, AV1 should be fairly superior than AVC, much better, and considerably superior to AGVC, even if you're using Intel or E, or if you're using 
Nvidia. It doesn't really matter, even if the brand has better quality, um, better compression quality in the same codec, um, the newest codec and the more efficient codec should always be better. And if you, you have actually supported our hardware encoding and decoding um, for AV1, I do definitely advise you to use AV1. Once again, if your streaming quality supports it, because even though, uh, and even if you are an, a newbie streamer, or even if you are using YouTube, you can indeed stream using AV1 to YouTube, but the final quality won't be uh, AV1, it will most likely be, be VP9, okay? Because when, like I told you, YouTube recompresses the image and sometimes not on the same codec. But if you are a top-notch streamer, uh, it will most likely keep the AV1 code uh, and in the future, in the close future, it will st it will keep using um, AV1 codec, or it will start using AV1 codec for everyone because it's a it's a newer and more efficient codec. Okay, that's why. But things take time uh, to advance even more when we're talking about huge streaming services like YouTube, uh, Twitch, and so on. But like I told you, and like you saw, AV1 is the best encoder that you can use, especially on the AMD side. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and see you in the next one. Ciao.